This diagram shows a photo cell. I'm using a lamp here to shine light on a metal surface. Now that's attached to a circuit and this battery here isn't actually on at the moment. It's just used to complete that circuit there. Okay, with red light, nothing really happens. Okay, even if I increase the intensity or, or if I increase the brightness of the red light, nothing happens. And that's because each photon of red light, its wavelength is too long and doesn't have enough energy to cause anything to happen. But as I lower the wavelength, increasing the frequency, the energies of each photon increase and eventually get to a point, for example, in this case, like blue light here, where you've got electrons being emitted from the metal surface. This, this phenomenon is known as a photoelectric effect, emission of electrons from a metal surface when light above a threshold frequency is incident on the metal. So the light needs to be higher than a minimum frequency before you can see the electrons being emitted. The okay, analogy you can use to understand the photoelectric effect is to think of the metal as a well. So here we've got the sodium metal here and we've got electrons inside the metal which are at different depths. Now the depth of the well here actually represents the energy. So this electron over here has the most energy but even this electron it needs a minimum energy to escape. So this minimum energy requ required to escape is called the work function. So in the case of sodium is 2.28 electron volts which is the minimum it needs in order to escape the metal. Okay, so we can see for zinc, for example, the minimum energy, the electron near the top, the one with the most energy needs to escape is more. So for zinc, you will need to have a higher energy photons coming in before electrons can be emitted. And so the work function just depends on metal only. Okay, during the photoelectric effect, we're shining light on the metal. We need to think of the light as being made out of photons, each with the energy of HF. We can't explain the photoelectric effect using wave theory. Okay, so when the light hits the metal, uh, the photons are absorbed by the electrons. The interaction between the photons and the electrons is one to one, meaning we can't have one electron absorbing more than one photon, or we can't have one photon going to more than one electron. There's a minimum uh, frequency that these photons need to have, and that's called the threshold frequency. That's because the energy provided by the photon needs to be at least this much. Okay, so we're talking about the electrons near the surface here, the, the ones that require the least energy to escape, we need to at least give them that much. Of course, for electrons deeper inside, we'll need even more energy for them to escape. Okay, so the threshold frequency depends on the work function, so therefore the threshold frequency depends on the metal only. So you can have different metals, for example, zinc, which has got a higher work function, so the minimum frequency required for the electrons to escape, the threshold frequency would be higher for zinc. So if we shine orange light on zinc, it won't cause a photoelectric effect because that won't be enough uh, energy for the electrons to escape. Uh, but if we shine wider light, that probably will be enough energy uh, above the threshold frequency for the electron to escape. Okay, in this question, the light is directed at a sodium metal surface and the frequency of the light is increased slowly. The work function of the sodium is 2.28 electron volts. Determine the frequency at which electrons start to be emitted. Okay, so electrons will start to get emitted when the energy of the photon, HF, okay, is equal to or greater than, than the work function. Okay, the minimum energy needed for the electron near the surface to escape. So that means that this is going to be the threshold frequency, the minimum frequency for it to escape. So we have this equation here. The work function is equal to Planck's constant times the threshold frequency. So um, to use this equation, firstly, write it down. And I'm going to turn the work function into joules, 2.28 times 1.6 times to the power of minus 19. Okay, and then the Planck's constant here, which is 6.63 times to the power of minus 34 times the threshold frequency here. Rearranging this and finding F naught, we get 5.50 times to the power of 14 hertz. That's the minimum uh, frequency the line needs to have. And if I just use um, C over F naught, I can figure out the, the longest, uh, the shortest, the, the longest wavelength you can have is 545 nanometers. So it needs to be shorter than this wavelength here. So this is green light. So it means that we need to have uh, photons with energy greater than that of green light for their uh, electrons to be emitted from the sodium metal.